welcome back to Kevy Sam. This is a safe space where I encourage women to live their best lives and love their bodies at any shape and size. It has been a huge six weeks. Look at Italian, I'm talking with my hands. It's been a really busy time lately and a lot of my life has revolved around plus size fashion. So I thought I'd do a quick haul. I always say it's gonna be quick. This one's not gonna be quick. I'm probably not even gonna talk over the audio because there is so much to get through. And the reason I just looked down is because I actually have bags from the Iconic, from other brands, unopened items that I haven't had time to try on. I have been to fashion shows, I've done a lot of blogging, I've been behind the scenes with quite a few brands. So today, it's gonna to be a whole mixed bag of international and Aussie designers. Now I do have a whole pile of stuff just sitting here that I haven't even opened. I'm gonna open it all with you guys try it on and I'm going to put some notes down below so if you do have any questions pop down I'll link absolutely everything. You're going to notice this I've started getting lash extensions again because I'm lazy actually when it comes to makeup I don't really care for it that much. I basically do foundation and lips a little bit of bronzer and the fact that I don't have to wear mascara or worry about it going all under my eyes is so great. Huge shout out to the girls at Hamilton Lashes in Brisbane. Belle, oh my gosh, you can't move anywhere ever because I need you to do my lashes all the time because they look so good. Now you may be looking in the background thinking, oh Sam, that's not very much, that's how much you normally post. Well, there is a whole pile here, there's a whole pile there, and there's a whole pile on that piece of floor as well. So let's do this. But first, music and air conditioning. Woo! Taquito have launched their Curve range which is sold exclusively at Maya and I was lucky enough to try a few items on and take them home. This is a green snake print dress and the sizing's pretty good. I find it true to size. Um, obviously it popped open a little bit when I tried it on. Next up is this Wayne Cooper dress and yet again it's animal print and it's pink and I love it. I actually sized up two sizes when I purchased this. Um, and I have lost the button on there as well, which I need to fix. I don't have too much to say about this dress other than I really like it. I've worn it with a denim jacket. I've worn it with a leather jacket and boots. And it's quite comfortable to wear. I adore the colour of this dress. And it's fun and it's floaty. And especially good for those of you who like to cover up your arms. It's such a flattering dress. And if you want to give your waist a little bit more definition, it's got a tie. This is the same style as the snake print dress. The only thing that's different is I found that it's a little bit shorter and the material underneath is sheer, which I kind of wish it was a little bit darker, just in case, you know, you flash. This is more of a corporate look. It's a shirt and pant combo. Both are true to size. I found them quite comfortable to wear. Um, I don't normally wear tops that are buttoned up, but if I tuck them into my pants, I feel that it gives me like a good waistline and it's quite flattering on my bust. I'm so glad I tried this dress on because I really didn't think it was gonna suit me, but it's quite funky, it's fun, it's flirty, it's got quite a few details on it that makes it stand out. And who doesn't love a flowy dress? I actually paired it with a denim jacket and I also popped on this fake fur jacket. Oh my gosh, such a good look. And I really don't recommend filming near a live cactus in your living room. This is from the straight size section at Wayne Cooper. It's a large, I can't do it up, but I love it. Now you might call this a caftan, but I call it a buffet dress. And as you can see, I got it stuck on my head when I was trying it on. But I did recently wear this to a movie premiere. I just wanted to be really comfortable because I was feeling quite bloated that day. But it moves really nicely and it's got a gorgeous print. It's not much to say about the t-shirt. It was comfortable, it's nice and soft. It's a new brand to Maya. But what I really wanted to talk to you about was Zark clothing. So all the items that are coming up actually aren't available yet. They're coming out in May and Zark clothing is run by two mamas in Brisbane and I love working with them. So all of these are samples, but they'll be available for sale shortly. What I love about this brand is that they understand the shape and sizes of a plus size body because it's made by plus size women. And they've also taken into consideration that we don't always want to wear polyester, so most of their items are cotton. The second I saw these come out on Prem in the USA, I knew I had to have them. These are actually the size two. I should have ordered 
the size three because I found them a little bit tight on my waist and the top doesn't fit me at all. Embody Woman is another plus size brand from Australia and I actually wore this dress to a few Fashion Week events in Melbourne a couple of weeks ago. I love a good wrap dress and it is such good quality. I think it's a really nice touch when brands put their garments in garment bags because I really hate unwrapping all the plastic. And for Embody Women, they've actually put a little book in that tells you all about the brand, shows that they're sustainable and that they have diversity across their models as well. I was so excited to order this online because it's such a gorgeous print, but I was really disappointed in the quality of it and the lining doesn't even go past my underwear. And it wasn't that flattering for those of you who have a big belly. If you're going to buy any dress from this haul, it has to be this one because it's from Piper and it is gorgeous. It's flowy. It has a good fit. I did find it a little hard to do up at the back and I wore it to Fashion Week in Melbourne and I had to get someone in the hotel to help me do it up. I own six wrap dresses from Bird's Nest. That's how good they are. As you guys can probably tell, I have the best time when I'm filming my hauls. I'm always singing and dancing around in my living room. I picked this up on sale for $60 at Maya and I have worn it so many times. You can probably tell by watching the footage that this doesn't fit me. It's really, really tight. I even sized up and there's no way that I would be wearing this anywhere. I feel like non-plus size people are designing these clothes. If you're into vaginal flashing, then this is the dress for you. Um, yeah, not for me. Kept having to adjust it. It's sliding down off my bra. It's a big no. I really liked the material on this skirt. Um, I didn't want to force the zip up. And I wore it a little bit higher in the smallest part of my waist so that it fit quite comfortably. But I did end up sending it back. I was so excited about these pants that I ordered them in the 20 and the 22. And yeah, there you can pretty much see I could get them on and really I could force the zip up, but if I moved, I would definitely split them in half. I don't know who the Iconic are using for their fit models, but they get it wrong so much. It's because you're not using plus size girls. I actually have more I wanted to show you, but I've had enough of trying stuff on. So everything you saw on the rack, that's stuff I already own, some of the stuff I was gifted, some of it I purchased, all the iconic stuff I purchased that arrived yesterday, so I didn't really have a chance to try it on, I thought I'd wait and try it on tonight. Thanks for watching my haul and for supporting me all the time, I wouldn't be here without you babe, so thank you so much. I hope that by me trying it on, it takes a bit of the angst out of shopping when you're looking online and that it has encouraged you to try new things. If there's any brands you'd like me to check out in particular, please comment below and let me know and I can go do a little haul there as well. It's really late here and like I'm, I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye. Also, I don't know if it's a good idea having a cactus so close to my try on area. Like that is legitimately in my living room. I might rethink that next time.